Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in a different room. This used to be my old bedroom before I got married. I'm back at my mom's. If you are not following me on Instagram, then you would not know that I have rented my house and I am building a new home that's gonna be ready in three months right behind my mom's. So this is actually a good location until we have to move once more. <laughs> so this is gonna be my temporary filming area and yes, I look like a crazy person but I'm gonna show you guys what this is gonna look like after the end of this video I have to put some makeup on but I saw this trending on YouTube where they take a bathrobe and they French braid it I think you can do it with your hair wet or dry I think it works better dry, but then I saw my mom doing it and it looked really good on her. So I got her to braid it for me last night. So I did sleep with this in my hair. It actually feels pretty good. It's, you know, it, I can't wait to get it out actually. And I'm kind of excited to see what the curl is going to look like. So this is going to be like your heatless curl. So without any heat or blow dry or anything, which I've been doing lately during quarantine. I think most of us are, are doing that. My camera is giving me so much grief right now. It keeps shutting off during my recording. I'm not sure what's going on. I must have touched one of the settings. I'll have to figure it out later. So I apologize if this video was kind of all over the place. I'm not gonna put on a lot. I just wanna put on a base, put on some sunscreen because I did do retinol last night. I do it actually quite often. So I wanna make sure I put on my SPF so that my skincare is working properly. So. Um, first things first, I'm going to, I already did my skincare, so I'm going to use the Dermalogica, it's not focusing, I'm sorry, this is the Skin Perfect Primer, so I'm going to put that all over, this does have an SPF of 30, it's good at blurring the skin and adding a little bit of tint, so I'm just going to put that all over, it doesn't add a ton of color, and if I'm looking over there is because I'm looking in my viewfinder. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit closer. There you go. Now you guys can really see what my skin really looks like with no makeup on. Um, but I am working on it. It's definitely gotten better. I find I'm not as oily as I used to be. I'm a lot more dry since I am older. <laughs> go ahead and add a little bit of this CoverGirl Focus. I've had this for a while, I just I haven't really used it. So this is the Clean Fresh Skin Skin Milk. I have mine in the shade Light Medium. So I'm just gonna add a little bit on the back of my hand. And I like to take a beauty sponge. And I'll just, I just wanna do a very light coverage, but this stuff is very light anyways. It doesn't cover a lot. I just want to put some makeup on today because I want to feel human, <laughs> you know, put together. I hope the lighting is good for you guys. I don't have a lot of room here at my mom's. I'm just going to have to do it in my bedroom. So I hope that you guys don't mind for a while. That's a very super light coverage, but that's okay. We are going to add some concealer. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. It's one of my favorite concealers because it's so lightweight. I noticed that they have a new one and I'm kind of curious about that one because I don't know if they replaced it with this. Well, or, sorry, I, I don't know if they replaced this with that new one. So I'll we'll put a little bit there. Gonna add a little bit more. The move was a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie. And I didn't think I had a lot of stuff because I've moved so much and I've decluttered a lot. But no, <laughs> we had a lot of stuff, I'm not gonna lie. People can't believe how many times I have moved. And honestly, when I think about it, I can't believe it either. <laughs> I like to just pat my concealer a little bit with my fingers. 
I find that it kind of blends it a bit better if you have really fine lines underneath your eyes. Okay, and then we're gonna add some powder. This is my makeup bag for three months, you guys. Oh, right here. So it's all in here, as you guys can see. <laughs> I'll probably do like what's in my makeup bag, what I brought at my mom's. If that's something you guys are interested in, maybe let me know in the comments down below. I'm just going to take the Hourglass Veil and I'm going to use this to set underneath my eyes. I love this powder because it's super thin. It looks so natural on the skin too. And you know what? I can't find my setting powder for the rest of my face, so we're just going to go ahead and use the same one. I don't know where it is. Have you guys been wearing a lot of makeup during quarantine, or are you just kind of letting your skin breathe? I'm definitely letting my skin breathe a lot more. I haven't put makeup on in probably, I don't know, a week, I would say. Now I'm going to go in with the uh, Cheek Leader Squad by Benefit, and it has Gold Rush, Cookie, and Hula Bronzer. So I'm going to go ahead and put Hula in the crease. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the lower lash line. When I was trying to decide what makeup to bring to my mom's, it was actually quite easy. I chose like products that I would use. <laughs> Hi, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I picked products that are like my go-to and then I picked products that I haven't used in a really long time. And this was one of them. And I haven't used Hula in a really long time. So let's go ahead and use this. This used to be like my Holy Grail uh, bronzer, by the way. So we're just gonna, whoa. <laughs> okay, I forgot how pigmented it is. We are gonna have to blend that out. Whoa. Okay, don't get scared you guys. I will blend it. I'm gonna switch brushes and use a fluffier brush because that one was by MAC and it's too dense. So the more dense your brush is, obviously you're gonna have a lot more pigment, so. I forgot to tell you guys, I did do my eyebrows and I put on some mascara. And that's all they did to my eyes. Bronzer, mascara, and eyebrows. I haven't used this blush in a really long time. It's a good one. It's by Vasanti, which uh, you can pick up at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, and obviously on their website. I'm not sure where else they sell this. But it's a really nice one. And they did change their packaging so it doesn't look like this anymore. But we're going to go ahead and use that today. Yeah, I still really like that. It's really pretty. And then, same thing, we're gonna go in with the palette. And we're gonna go in with one of my favorite highlighters, Cookie. Right there. This blush does not show up on me at all. But this highlighter is amazing. Yep. I love it. <laughs> and last thing we're going to do is lips. I'm not going to bother putting on a lip liner today. I'm just going to throw on some gloss. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on my channel, but it's one of my favorite glosses. It's by Pat McGrath. And this is in the shade Love Potion. It's beautiful. It has a little bit of sparkle in it or shimmer, I guess. I just like the way this makes your lips look. So there, now the makeup is done. Let's reveal what the hair is gonna look like. Let's see. Okay, this is gonna take me a while to take out of my hair. Oh my goodness, it is super curly. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this girl. Oh my god. It really shortened my hair a lot because look at how curly it is. Okay, so I'm going to flip my hair upside down and just kind of see what happens. Okay, there it is, you guys. It's nice. It's just more curlier than I want it to be. I think I'm going to have to comb it out and maybe just fix the... i got to fix this piece right here, maybe. I don't know. Let me go and comb it out and see what... Okay, like. so I did comb my hair out with a like a wide pick comb. So I did go through my whole hair and just kind of brush it out just to loosen up the curl. But it's super, super curly. Like, this is going to last me three days for sure. And my hair, you guys, does not hold a curl like this at all. It has never, never been this curly. Like, this is craziness. <laughs> and I'm going for a bike ride. Yeah, I'm going for a bike ride in this hair, but I am going to be wearing my helmet. But yeah, I mean, I, I do like it. I think it turned out like really, really nice. I don't know if I would do this all the time, but maybe if I'm going out or something and I want to look a little extra glam. But um, yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. You can kind of play around with it and see where you want to part it. I kind of like a farther part. So I'm going to leave it like that. You can tuck it behind your ear. You could do like a really nice like side ponytail if you want and kind of just tie it on the end, make it really, really cute, right? Anyways, that's what it looks like, you guys. So you guys are going to have to let me know if you've tried this before. Um, how do you like it? Um, do you think it's too curly? <laughs> it might be a little bit too curly for me, but I do really like the way that it turned out. And I think it's something different. It's something fun. That is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so that you guys don't miss out on any more videos. And I hope that you guys are having a wonderful and safe day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.